Hi, everybody. Today, I want to review your investment report with you. We send it to you quarterly through your vault at mywellchart.com. And so let's take a look at it and hit the highlights. All right. So this is a hypothetical example, but your report looks the same. And if I start on the left-hand side, what you'll see is a, a pie chart. And that area really is just designed to talk to you about the amount that's in preservation and the amount that's investments. You know, preservation is the name we use for anything that's cash, CDs, treasuries, or that equivalent there. That's also where your withdrawals come from if you're a retiree or opportunity money or how you identify your risk tolerance and how much investments you're willing to have. To the right of that are the top 10 securities. We list that because it makes a difference wherever the largest positions in your portfolio are, they carry the most weight in how you're doing. So if you flip through there, it's a quick way to look at your top 10. Um, the activity summary is something that I wanted to do. And the goal um, for us was that we wanted people to try to think long-term. We have no idea um, if we're gonna have a good year or a bad year next year. We know in the next 10 years, we'll probably have some of both. It's a sequence of events that's unknown. So if we can think long-term though, we don't wanna get too beat up. And this will let you look at your year-to-date, year one year, three year, five year, 10 year averages. It starts with the beginning account value. You can see any money that you withdrawn or taken out, any increase or decrease, and then it's broken down into percentages. Um, the other part of this that uh, people might be interested in is looking at that allocation we talked at the beginning was how does that affect you? Well, in this case, say preservation was 0.1 at these interest rates um, and the investments were 22 based on their allocation. That's how you arrive at a 16 point uh, 2% return, and that's broken down so you can see the randomness of the five preceding years. Um, a fan favorite for most people seems to be the top and bottom performers. Um, the idea here, and again, this report, in this case, this is a uh, second quarter report, so it only reflects the six months of 2021. But just to understand the design of it, um, what that report will do is it'll just show you the bottom three and it does it by market change in value. So in this case, the negative 8,000, negative 2,000, negative 1,000 were the bottom three performers within the portfolio. Um, and so the opposite is true for the top three performing. It would be the highest ones. In this case, it was Dix, Capital One and ExxonMobil. Um, a lot of people seem to like that. It's very short-term oriented. So I wanna finish with something that's a little more important, I think, which is long-term orientation and thinking as an investor rather than a speculator or a gambler or a trader. Um, in this situation here, this data on your report will go back to as long as we, or when we first started with Schwab, which was 2006. If you pre were before then, we don't have that data, but 2006 after, here we go. In this case, it's 10 years, right? So you see the graph. That uh, line there represents the starting point minus any withdrawals, and you can see it kind of slopes down. The graph part itself is the account performance, right? Um, there's four sections here uh, that come below it, um, and it's kind of a neat way to go through memory lane, but this is the net amount invested. The net flow is what you put in or took out. The investment gain or loss for that quarter and, and its entirety is reflected there, as well as the just total market value. So in this case, you see, um, and. 930, uh, you had a mark and that amount invested here that went down uh, from the previous quarter by the amount that was withdrawn. And then there was an investment gain or loss for each of the quarters in their total value. So you can flip through and look quarter by quarter. It's kind of a neat little reminder, but if you just want to bring yourself to present time, uh, you know, you can do that very easily. And at the bottom, you'll see where you're at and say that uh, net amount invested number, the withdrawals, investment gain or loss is reflected here, and then the total account value. So. We hope that that is a little different than the Schwab statement. It doesn't replace Schwab, it's just an addition to, it's in a supplement. Um, but we hope we hit the mark in identifying some of the key information that you like in a simple, concise format that's available for you on a quarterly basis whenever you want to access it through your uh, vault at my wealth chart.